Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to paint BMX parts in the easiest and the fastest way. Some things that you'll need for this are primer, your paint, and then the thing that makes this the easiest is paint stripper. This is going to make it so you don't have to sand a lot or anything. And then you're going to need some really rough sandpaper. I have 40 grit right here. This is pretty rough. And then you're going to want to have a really smooth and soft sandpaper. And I have 400 right here. Um, both of these work pretty well. Clear coat is another thing that you can use if you want to use it. It'll be just like your painting or primering your part. But it gives it that extra gloss. I don't really want that extra gloss. It also kind of helps protect the paint if you really care. but. I didn't have any laying around, so I didn't feel like buying any more. But that's the stuff I'm going to be using today to paint these forks. So the next part is getting your part in a safe spot to paint. You're going to want to either hang them or find something that you can put them on that won't tip over, and you're going to want to be able to paint the whole thing. You're not going to want to have to paint one half, then flip it over, and then paint the other half. It just doesn't come out that great. You can do that way if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. For a forks, like a traffic cone or any kind of cone, that's the best thing to do because it holds the steer tube in the hole and then it stops right at the integrated, uh, integrated spot right here. Okay, so now it's all secured. You're gonna wanna get your paint stripper and you're just gonna wanna coat it in. And then after you coat that in, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Alright, after about your 10 to 15 minutes, um, the paint basically gets eaten away. It's not sticking to the metal anymore, like, you know, it's that easy to come off now. That's what makes this way of uh, painting your parts the easiest way by far. Um, yep, so now that that's all peeling off, I'll show you a couple ways to take it off. Really, there's not one way that's really stands out as the best, but I'll show you what I do. Okay, so one of the ways that I do to get this stuff off is one of these uh, barbecue cleaners. You know, for any stuff that gets left on that's really hard to get off, you know, it has that like rough abrasive stuff. And then, you know, just to get the paint off, it has this nice like razor edge and it just kind of scrapes it off. It's, it's an all right method. You really don't want to touch the aircraft or paint stripper because it eats away at stuff. When it touches your skin, it really burns. You probably should wear gloves and a mask to do this, but uh, I didn't have any. Another really good way to do it would be just like maybe some gardening gloves and just, you're just able to peel all this stuff off with your hand. Um, but just on my shoes, asteroids in my brain, video rights up in my chain. I'm a fucking universe when my shit go bling white tea. What? Looking like a franchise. So got all the stuff off. Um, looks like the front came out really good, you know, I'm not gonna really have to do too much there. Back on the other hand, uh, looks like didn't really get in there too well, so um, usually when you're using this stuff, you're going to have to do it about two, maybe three times. Um, but since it's already weakened, you know, putting some back on should really 
uh, be able to get the rest of this off. So just go ahead and repeat what you just did if it came out like this. Sometimes, very rarely, it'll come out all on the first try. You know, maybe if the part was already painted with spray paint by like a friend or you did it and you just don't like how it came out and you want to redo it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Till I rest, bring that fucking white noise On the big dipper, sipping, mixing honey with my tea Wake up in the nebula, fall asleep in the galaxy Whoever's after me, promise they Okay, so after waiting again for about another 10 minutes or so Um, it should just fall right off Um, yeah falls off really easy, makes life easy. Okay. Alright, so right now I'm just going to get the rest of this off and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now that you got about most of it off, you're going to want to just get something to dry it off, you know, just like an old rag or towel or something. Just dry it off and then see what's left on there. And then probably have to end up sanding little pieces off, but you just want to make sure it's nice and smooth when you paint it to give it that nice professional look. Okay, so now you can see that, you know, they're really clean now. A um, little bit of spottage there. A little bit of spottage there, you know, a little bit on the forks. But now you're just going to get your rough sandpaper and just go over the spots that have that. And then after you do that, you're going to want to get the smooth sandpaper and then re go over the area because you don't want there to be any, like, noticeably deep scratches. It'll come out in the paint and just won't look that good. So what you're just going to want to do is just start sanding. It should eat this paint off. It should eat the paint off really easy considering it's weakened. And then something else, you don't have to use that huge piece of sandpaper, you know, you're gonna probably just get a little piece to be easier. And then yeah, just start getting all of the big chunks of paint off. So this is what I was talking about. It'll leave these deep scratches in your part. So now you're gonna get the light sandpaper and just go over the area where all these scratches are. And then also, if you see like any like you know scratches from riding the parts or anything, you're probably gonna want to go over them, try to soften them out a little bit. Um, you can only do so much, but you know you can definitely try to make everything look a little bit better. So after doing some sanding with the lighter grit, you can see that this is just completely smooth now. Went around, did the rest of the forks, you know, especially really like right here in the dropouts, you know, kind of had some stuff going on, but. In total, I probably spent 10 minutes sanding. Um, you know, with the paint stripper, it really made it a lot easier. Because if you had to sand this whole thing, it would probably take at least an hour, I'd say. But, alright, so now we're going to go on to primering the forks. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our primering. With primering, I usually do about two coats. The main goal of primer is to make sure that your paint sticks on really well to prevent chipping and then you know when you get a scratch you know it kind of help prevent it from peeling or anything like that. So primer is pretty important to do. You're going to want to do about two to three coats. I don't have a lot of primer but I think I have enough to get what I need done. One thing I did forget to mention really quick is your first coat is going to be really really light you're going to probably still see um some of the fork behind the primer so don't worry about that that's why you do multiple layers to make sure it's drugs diamonds all that shit just ain't a thing to me lace beams hologram rings it's 30 88 when i'm stepping on the scene lace beams hologram rings it's 30 88 while i'm stepping up on the scene like That's what I'm talking about, being able to see through it a little bit. You know, don't worry though, it's just your first coat. Um, it really will look good in the end though. Trust me, you're not going to want to just cake this stuff on. 
Let me see if I can make it a little brighter for you guys. Ah, uh, there, now you can really see what I'm talking about. See how it's pretty light? You know, you can still see the raw behind it. You know. Wait about 10 minutes before you put your second coat on. And, yeah, I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put the second layer of clear coat on now. This one should make it so you do not see any fork left now. If it turns out that you still see fork left, don't panic and just keep spraying it. You want it to be even. You're just going to have to make sure you really get that spot in the third layer, okay? Alright. All right, so now you can clearly see there's no raw material showing. So now I don't have any more primer, so I'm going to have to stop on two layers. I would recommend doing three layers of primer. So we're going to have to sit for about 10 minutes, and I'm going to start putting down the paint. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're finally going to start laying down some paint. Just like with primer, you're going to want to make it really light the first layer. Second layer, you shouldn't really see any more primer. I, I did black primer, so you really it'll be kind of hard to tell either way. And then third layer, you're going to kind of just go over your second layer. It's not going to really look too much different from the second layer, just from besides it being a little bit thicker. Um, yeah. days like three or so then the paint will be fully hardened be a lot less likely of it getting like uh, messed up easily but for the most part yeah that's how you paint a BMX park the easiest and fastest way um, really probably took me an hour to do that like an hour and a half or so but you didn't have to wait around for like the uh, paint to dry and stuff like that it'd really be a lot quicker but for the most part it was really easy you know the paint stripper makes it a lot easier but yeah thanks for watching 